Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. In the last episode, we made a kitchen, and apparently everybody wants to be in here. Okay, yeah, shoo, bye. So as you can see, they're cooking for us, which is great. That means I don't have to cook anymore. And in this episode, we are going to talk to Clayton. Hello, Amanda. I see you've been sinning at the remarkable rate lately. Uh, since you show no signs of wishing to repent, perhaps you might do me a favor. I'm sure my fellow residents and I will be glad of a tiny room with a pot. Oh, and a towel rail. Wow, we already got this finished. In it, if you take my meaning. What's that? Why a tiny room? Would they... Would they not be pleased with a larger one? It's a little difficult to relax and do what must be done if one is sitting in a wide open space. I really think the room should be as small as possible. So, to reiterate, that's a tiny room with a pot and a towel rail. Build that for us and we'll be able to, well, you know... <laughs> Oh, thank you, Amanda. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for a room like this. I can't tell you how hard things have been trying to sneak out in the wilderness to answer the call of nature in private, especially with all the cabbages I've been eating. Just the other day, I hid behind a tree to unburden myself, but just as I had, you know, with my britches, I saw that Rosie's eyes were fixed upon my... Um... <laughs> I beg your pardon? What exactly am I talking about, you ask? Are you really going to make me say it out loud? It's it's what people make after you've had something to eat. Why not try it yourself? Have a nice big meal with plenty of fiber, and then after a while, you'll find your new room comes in very handy indeed. Oh, and by the way, the pot will probably start to fill up after a while. Perhaps there is some way you can use, make use of that matter. Wow, that was, that was easy. Quite easy. Now they will make something called, <laughs> there is a seed on top of there. <clears throat> a matter called night soil. Basically it's poop. So, if we get two of them, we could make worm food and spread it all over the place. Hi, Wiggly. Wiggly. Hello there, my handsome. Oh, me handsome. I heard something interesting from Maroth, so I did. He tells me you two met Gob Gobkin and did him a favor, saying says he worked out how to make worm food in the process and all. That's blinding brilliant news. Why didn't you tell me sooner? If I didn't know better, I'd think ye only at eyes for making fields and ain't given a single thought to them grassy meadows I love so much. But I ain't going to give up that easily. I'll do me, me ma and pa, and their ma's and pa's before them proud. I'm going to turn the old island green. I'll need your help to do it, though, Amanda. Worm foods made from... Man. <laughs> I just talked about this. Grass seeds in night soil. Right? Do me a big favor and make me one of them balls of green... Of worm food. Plunk them down somewhere away from your fields and I'll turn they are around in a lovely little line. If you're wondering where to get your hands on night, night soil... Look no further than the pot and the tiny room you made. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. Me will clean them up with the towel you put in there. Yeah. So, needless to say, that's gonna be a bit. Now, I did. Wow, this thing produces a lot of hearts. Goodness. <laughs> now, I did not, however do any more work on this. 
I really like the idea of having a bath area up here. I really do. And just having a whole floor with it. Now, here's the problem with that. Is if I want to put more rooms, which we will eventually need, is that these, this thing is at least another two more blocks high. But if you want it comfortable, I usually do three. So that means our area up there is going to be uh, five stories just with the bedrooms and then the bathhouse and god knows what's up there <laughs> so i do like it but at the same time i don't know if i wanted to go that ridiculously high i mean or or I just make a few more not quite as Fancy of a bathhouse is this, um, but something kind of similar, kind of. Also, we have this flagstone stuff that I want to put down here because I want to see if they can bust through it. Uh, that's not busting through, Amanda. So, I'm going to spend some time working on this and waiting for the night, night soil. Uh, I just want to do oops, a bit just to see if they can get through it. And this, these two need to stop. Now, Ross, get yourself over here and help me. I will be happy when I don't have to fight these things anymore. Okay. Because if they don't bust through, then I'm going to go around the entire map and fix that. Because I got plenty to do it with. Well, um, I guess we can go check some pots. See if there's anything in them. There's one. We just need to make one, so... There's two. Okay, that's all we needed. Alright, let's make some worm food. Yeah, there we go. Now, I really want to make this area nice and green. So, let's... Uh, where's the... Okay, there it is. I want to put it up here. Mm, yeah. That'll work. Now, will you make... Uh... Wait! Wiggly! What did you do? That's not making it green! What? There it goes! I was like, no game, nice try, but that doesn't work for me. Wow, I really thought it was going to, uh, not work at all. Oh, that's still slimy. That's mean. All right, we're gonna fix that. All right, I need my gloves. Hey, those three that I made earlier come in in handy now. This works out great. Oh, uh, we'll take you. Not you. Not you. You. There we go. Oh, or! did you see that, Amanda? We made that grass from scratch, so we did. And now I can keep making grass for as long as ye can make keep making worm food. Before long, we can have the whole island green, good and green. Oh my goodness! Did you make that worm food yourself, Amanda? How did you do it? What in the world did you make it out of? What do you mean, you know what? 
If I knew, I wouldn't have asked. <laughs> Most impressive. The cooperation has been purified. Oh, corruption. Cooperation. Wow, Amanda. And grass grows upon the earth once more. Keep this up and we shall have four filled back and fine fatel fidel fatel before we know it. <laughs> yeah, not bad. When you're finished here, let's get this guy to work his magic back on the Isle of Wigan. Lulu's throw a fit. Aw, oh, thanks everybody. I couldn't have done it without your help. If we keep at it, we might be able to get some nice little flowers growing too. Flowers? I've always wanted to see flowers. I've only heard about them in stories. I can't wait for the day to come. Yeah, me too. Okay. I believe that's it. We can ring the bell. And I guess ring the bell we shall. Maybe after they finish eating? I suppose. Oh, they're eating the sweeties too. That's pretty cool. Alright. Let's ring this bell. Oh, might help if I have the, uh... There we go! Base level three! The resident becomes specialist at sowing seeds. Oh look, they actually come through the door. That's awesome. Population of a man's base just got a little bigger. And more recipes! Okay! Oh, cool! We got windows! And bunting! Nameplates! Nice! Crepes, Amanda! We just keep getting better and better. We even handle planting seeds now. If you want us to plant some seeds for you, stick them in a chest. Already did. Then you just have to pick which field you want to use uh, to plant. Want us to plant them in by writing it on the scarecrow. And we'll handle it from there. Sweet. And it seems that you've grown as a builder even more than we have. With those sharpened logs and porch windows you've invented, we could build some fine buildings indeed. Did you work out how to make bunting too? That's sure to come in handy soon. And that's not all. The sound of the bell has summoned some more people. Our farm just keeps growing and growing. First things first, Amanda. Let's give our new guests a nice warm welcome. Uh, right, we can basically pick which scare- what we want on the scarecrow. Hello! Oh, it's two of them. What's going on here, then? That's a mighty fine tree you got there. And just look at that lovely big field. Pull the other one! You're building for a field farm and growing an old new D tree. Inquisitors of Hargon, come quickly! This place is blaming nest of heretics! We've been sent by the children of Hargon, you see, to find out just what's going on here. And now, as we've found out, we'd better report back to the higher-ups. But perhaps we could take a closer look first. Maybe plow some fields and plant some crops, just to make sure we've got the full picture, so to speak. Another pair of full fieldian farmers join the farm. So that was only two. I was expecting like five for some reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So here's the problem that we face now is that we can only put one crop on there. We can't put two. So this one's pretty easy. This one's sugar cane. Um. Oh, hi, Benozo. Hecklin, 
Hawkman. Amanda, you did it. You rung the bell and increased everyone's building ability, even mine. Mine too. From now on, you can leave all of the tilling and watering and planting to us. Excuse me, Miss Amanda. Don't call me that. I don't know if you recognize me, but I'm one of the farmers who came here when you rang that bell the first time. I know, I remember. I know we said we wouldn't be renouncing our views regarding the children of Hogram, but, but, but we've changed our minds. We don't care one bit about the children of Hogram now. We're going to be builders instead, like you. <laughs> Rummaging rats, rat, rats, rat schools, rat, whatever. That's brilliant news, and it's all thanks to you, my girl. You're the one who brought building back to the island. Says the one who, you know, basically was like, You're a builder? Fine, do it yourself. Actually, man, there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. Furrowfield Farm grows day by the day. All these people require guidance, leadership. What our village needs, my girl, is a mayor. And who would be better suited to fill that role than yours truly? Uh-huh. Oh, you needn't say a word. The smile on your face speaks volumes. It's settled. I hereby award myself the official title Mayor of Furrowf- No way! I'm not having it. Wow, Malroth. Oh, Malroth just teleported. What? Malroth? The only thing you're fit to lead us in is who's got the most feral face hair? Besides, what kind of lever picks themselves? We are all fanatic followers. Where are the zealots clamoring to give their lives in your name? Give it up, Beardy. Wow, Mouth is kind of upset about that. You, but uh, he barges in out of nowhere, completely uninvited. And worst of all, he's right. But I shall not give up. We have done- you have done your part in improving our village, Amanda. Now I must do mine, and earn the place as the rightful ruler. Yeah, huh. Amanda! Uh, everything's coming along so well. The sugar cane's growing nicely, everyone's proving as builders, and we're making great progress on past Al's request. Hmm? Look! Something's happening to the tree. Oh, wow. Wow, the tea tree just grew even bigger. Bah! Well done, everyone. The combined life force of all of the plants we've grown has taken the tea tree to new heights. Your efforts have awakened a new power within the tea tree. The might of your crew of creation is more potent than I had anticipated. A new power? Soon enough we'll be back to the strength it had before the children of Hargoth destroyed it. Speaking of which, where did the original D tree come from in the first place? Did you just sprout out of the ground one day or what? You know, Malroth, I've been thinking this for a while now, but you act all rough and tough. But you're actually a pretty deep thinker. The only thing I ever think about is where my next cabbage is coming from. <laughs> We're not done yet, Amanda. We still need to grow two more different crops. <laughs> when we've done that, the D tree's back to full strength. We'll be safe from the ill wind, so let's get to it. Alrighty, can I go finish harvesting my crops? Jeez. Can Wait, again? Something's coming. Oh no. Alright, um. You don't have a weapon. Um. Looks like it's just one. Alright. Uh, I need to get the anvil. I cannot make this. Oh, yes I can. Okay, so I need... Can I teleport away real quick? Oh, I can. Alright, I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. Let's see how many I can make. Well, one of these, obviously. And then... Wait, how many do I need? I need one for myself. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, including me. Okay. Hopefully I can make six. Yep, I can. I got more than enough. Good. Alrighty. So, equip that. You. You. Uh-huh. Uh, you. Malroth, here you go. Alrighty. Um, do I still have that treasure chest on me? Uh, no. Okay. Let's make that real quick. Uh, and just go through this real fast. Crust. Um, chest, 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 chest. Ooh, we got a bench. Yep. Good. Put that there. And then I'm gonna put all this stuff in there. Put this. I certainly don't need it right now. Oops, that does not go in there. Okay. And then. Am I gonna have enough room? Just barely. Okay. Um, put that away. I want these. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's more than enough food. Alright. The enemy's closing in. It looks like the children of Hargon are massing up for a big attack, Amanda. A real battle? Finally! I'm so excited, I can't even. Do you reckon they want to, like, smash the whole farm up? I suspect that is exactly their intention. We must do everything within our power to defeat them. If you haven't already, could you do us a solid and kick us out with the sweetest weapons you can? The better our gear, the better our chances, right? I already did. What do you say, Amanda? Are you ready for the battle? Yes. Good. It's been ages since the last big fight, and I've been itching for some action. Let's get out there and make the most of it. Okay. Let the battle commence! Oh, yay! No, I don't think so. So how- No, they cannot get through stone. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. They can't get through that stone. Oh man, I'm so happy I found that. That's great. Actually, I'm gonna eat one of these. And that ups my uh, defense. Sweet. Oh, come on. We're off already. Ugh. Come on, wear off. Thank you, it finally wore off. Good. Oh, man! Why do they have to make giant slimes? Really? Yeah, get him! This one guy is over here just attacking this one by himself. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Hi. No. Uh! Kill the clouds first, guys. Oh! Man, they hit for a lot. I will be very happy when we can, you know, actually have damage. I mean, defense. Speaking of defense, I want some more of that. Okay. Whoa! I did not see that. Is that it? Yeah! Oh, sweet. Amanda and Malos level increases. 
Amanda gets oh not Amanda. Mouth gets stronger. Amanda reaches level seven. Max HP increases. Her breath gauge gets a little bit bigger. Finally! <laughs> Victory! Gosh, Amanda, that was an even tougher fight than the one before. It seems like the children of Hogron really have it in for us. It is... Lem... Let... Lamentable? Rosy and yet unavoidable. I do not see any way to... Broker a peace between us. Amanda... Do you know of the Brainy Baboon? No. I am a mere pastor, but he is the primate of Furrowfield. Not only does he outrank me by far, but he ha but his control over this island is absolute. He is away at present, but when he returns, I will attempt to make him see reason. I may be able to convince him of the D-Tree's value, but this mere sapling will not sway him. If I am going to stand any chance of proving its worth, you must grow the deity to her full height. All right then, Al. So when are you actually going to get your hands dirty and start helping us? Wh what? Yeah, Malroth's right. You leave her on the farm with all the rest of us builders. When are you going to join in? To expect me, an av avatar of destruction, to become a builder? Hmm. Mm hmm. It is an interesting proposal. I will grant you that. Perhaps I may even consider it. One day. Alright, it's a deal. Come on, Amanda. Let's grow two more types of crops, complete the pastor's tasks, and make this place the finest farm on Furfield. Yep. Let's do it, everyone. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Two people. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Oh, we need to. I'm gonna. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. First of all, going to redo the fence, the defenses. Why didn't this get fixed? Whatever. I will take care of that in between this episode and the next. I will also decide what I want to do for the bathhouse. So... And then, in the next episode, we'll talk to those two and see what we're going to have us do next. Oh, and I will also designate what farm this needs to be. And I will set up areas for three more farms. Because, I mean... One of these crops needs to go over there. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep on smiling. <laughs>